Good morning, my droogs and devotkas. It's your humble narrator, Jay Joyner, here. <sighs> Hi. All right, I am on here today because I want to read to something to you folks. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Only, I'm going to look at this from more of a scientific fact. I caught this on Facebook. All right, now I'll read this to you. Scientific death of Jesus. For the next 60 seconds, set aside whatever you're doing and take this opportunity. Let's see if Satan can stop this. At the age of 33, Jesus was condemned to death. At the time, crucifixion was the worst death. Only the worst criminals were condemned to be crucified. Yet it was even more dreadful for Jesus. Unlike other criminals condemned to death by crucifixion, Jesus was to be nailed to the cross by his hands and feet. Each nail was six to eight inches long. The nails were driven into his wrist, not into his palms as is commonly portrayed. There's a tendon in the wrist that extends to the shoulder. The Roman guards knew that when the nails were hammered into the wrist, the tendon would tear and break, forcing Jesus to use his back muscles to support himself so that he could breathe. So basically, put it right through here. And then because that would tear at, cause this tendon in here to move more, Jesus would have to use his back muscle to support himself and have to do this constantly. All right. Both of his feet were nailed together, like kind of like this. Thus, he was forced to support himself on the single nail that impaled his feet to the cross. That had to hurt. Jesus could not support himself with his legs because of the pain, so he was forced to alternate between arching his back then using his legs just to continue to breathe. Imagine the struggle, the pain, the suffering, and the courage. And then Jesus endured this reality for over three hours. Yes, over three hours. Can you imagine this kind of suffering? A few minutes before he died, Jesus just stopped bleeding. He was simply pouring water from his wounds. From most common images of the crucifixion, we see wounds to his hands and feet and even the spear wound to his side. But do we realize his wounds were actually made to his body before he was even on the cross? A hammer driving large nails through the wrist, the feet overlapped, and even a large nail hammered through the arches. Then a Roman guard piercing his side with a spear. But before the nails and the spear, Jesus was whipped and beaten. The whipping was so severe that it tore the flesh from his body. The beating so horrific that his face was torn and his beard was ripped from his face. The crown of thorns cut deeply into his scalp. Most men would have not survived the torture alone. He had no more blood to bleed out. There was only water pouring from his wounds. The human adult body contains about three and a half liters, just less than a gallon of blood. Jesus poured all three and a half liters of his blood. He had three nails hammered into his members, a crown of thorns on his head, and beyond that, a Roman soldier who stabbed a spear into well, his rib cage, not so much his chest. All these without mentioning the humiliation he suffered after carrying his own cross for almost two kilometers while the crowd spat in his face and threw stones. And on the cross weighed almost 30 kilograms. Um, so, yeah. Jesus had to endure this experience to open the gates of heaven so that you can have free access to God. So that your sins could be washed away. All of them with no exception. So don't ignore the situation that Jesus Christ died for you. It goes further on because it's a Facebook post that, you know, we're always quick to post jokes or post, you know, things that aren't really all that important on Facebook, but yet let's see if anyone would have shared that uh, crucifix, scientific crucifixion post. And I did, you know, because y'all know who I am. I'm a Christian. 
I believe in God. I believe in the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and his resurrection. So, of course I would. Why wouldn't I? And I share that information with you because I want all of my viewers to at least have some sort of knowledge of God, whether you get it from me or whether you get the idea of learning it from me and you go on further. That's all I'm looking for in life. I just want my friends to be in heaven with me. And you folks are all my friends. And yes, yes. So, I hope you all enjoyed that little tidbit of information. This has been Jay Joyner. Peace, much love, and God bless you all. Yep, purrs. <laughs>